There was gossip emerging from bulging bellies, and I was too awkward to romance girls. The other boys, done in cheap knitted man hats, struggled to juggle growing up and giving life. They tried to swear less. Diapers slowly became more important in the big game and shit talking. Their dates, still young and blushing, tested the temperature of milk on their wrist instead of a corsage. I watched them cradle what they did not yet understand, and I wanted it. <laughs> so I began to raise a poem. The great thing about raising poetry is you don't have to worry about missing their first word. I named this poem Epiphany. I am a single father and raised my poem daughter to feel comfortable to talk to me about anything. For me, every day is take your child to work day. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Superman's step-parents. When my co-workers worry about chicken pox or swine flu, I'm concerned that my child might live forever. <laughs> Oftentimes I look at her in amazement and say, that came from me. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when she told me she had her first period. <laughs> like most parents, I let her older poems tell her what to do more than I should have. She wore clothes I didn't pick out, flirted with older poems I didn't really care for. She kept me up all night because her distorted music was shaking the walls like a pink eraser, rubbing out our history together. Desperately, I tried to regain control of my creation. I tell her, you know, Epiphany, I brought you into this world. I'm trying to memorize your whole life, and I named you after my mother's midlife crisis. And although she is silent, looking at Epiphany is like staring at my reflection in a wishing well, and I realize that this moment is not permanent. My poem is asking for 20 bucks in the car keys when I cannot pay the insurance of the utility bill. She wants enough freedom to become something more than my intention. She is not a little girl anymore. She once sat at my desk and bullshit and been sleeping and asked, Dad, why is it that the world doesn't give anything to creators when creators give their everything to the world? Now, Epiphany, I realize what I should have said. Creations live a life beyond the intentions of those that make them, and in fact, become creators on their own. <laughs>